And we will get into it. Again, both teams did end up in a draw uh, in both their series today so far. Surrounded already. Fortune's end will root him in place for quite a while, and Matthew will have a very easy remnant setup into the sun setup of Frank. A few uphill misses, but that won't matter. Yeah, that's a bit surprising, but I suppose it's something that you can make work. Uh, he is highly mobile just naturally. You will need to invest in some EXP for this guy to get big, but they are making it work quite well just from the lane phase. Remnant again, just going to connect thanks to MJZ with the setup. The crit will punish them a little bit with the swashbuckle. And they really aren't going to give up this tri lane, huh? I, I, I was almost certain that Matthew would rotate eventually, but it looks like they are just going to keep this up. I think it's down to just how cheap you can throw those remnants out and how fast Matthew is, so you can just keep applying this pressure. Another remnant, but tree. The tree will block it. Now they look to punish Matthew, chasing him down. Crit should have the damage output and does get it. Nice pickup for EG. It's MJZ now. Fortune's end. Not really going to affect Crit too much. He'll just continue to chase this Oracle down. And that should be a, almost a guaranteed kill though. He will try to go for the deny with the neutrals. Won't be so lucky. Those neutrals really don't hit hard enough. They are finding the farm in these side lanes, of really, so they're still managing to get ahead there, Matthew. Yeah, catches fly, but it looks like Leo style just not feeling safe with the amount of HP he has right now. Matthew, he's kind of just been left alone, Leo. He'll come back in. He has one Spirit Siphon available, and he does commit it, but it's immediately cancelled off. And he will end up falling, as Crit will be the one to pick up the kill on the Pangolier. While well, that was happening, Ramses ends up losing his life to MNZ on the Morphling. Down mid as well. It's a bit of shame, and Matthew does fall in the end as well. Fly will be the one to pick up the kill on the Snapfire. Looks like they just kind of posture around Leo style as he TPs in, but Fortune's in. The purge off the Flame Guard from Arbed. Crit though, still moving forward, and now they have Ramses, but Ramses kind of just sprouted himself. Doesn't really matter, they'll find MJZ. Leo style, he just TP back, he just respawned, he doesn't want to die like this, but it looks like he will not have a choice in the matter. So Abed will get a double kill, and that is going to put this death proof very, very far behind. In fact, MNZ is here now. Uh, uh. They'll just chase him down. He, he has waveform available. He's copying a fair bit of damage, though. He does use it, but it's not going to help him as they are continuing to chase. Matthew Remnant will stop them from chasing him down. Matthew... Just gonna try and escape now. Just strength morph. The fly doesn't have Cookie to throw out, but Abed now, he's gonna rotate in on the Ember. You don't really have chains, but you definitely have a lot of damage as the Remnant now forward onto MNZ. They'll settle for MJZ instead. In fact, never mind Crit, he loses his life immediately to the Adaptive Strike and the Purifying Flames of this Oracle. As Abed is gonna continue chasing down. He does get a slider fist off. Still MGZ or MJZ, delaying things quite a bit. Remnant. Onto the Morphling. Abed won't commit it yet. False promise. They will eventually get the Oracle. And it looks like Fly does get Matthew on the uh, on the Void Spirit as well. It is for RDP, although MNZ. Yeah, getting caught out. Strength Morphing as best he can. He waveforms forward as well, but they will not stop this chase. Remnants for, for, forward from Abed. He still doesn't have any levels in chains, though. So they don't really have a way of locking him down, but they are at least forcing him to not be able to farm. Onto a Naga Siren at level 9. Like, oh, they still have an unspent point. Gonna be able to get away in the tree line, it looks like. He'll be fine. Her is... Her performance on the EVU. Almost just gets bursted by RTZ. In fact, Ramses oh, has the follow-up damage. Oh boy. Issues trying to clear out those illusions as well. So we'll see whether or not that will hold up if the game reaches that point. Otherwise, EG again. They've got a 5k lead now at 12 and a half minutes in. 9 to 4 in terms of the kill board. Yeah, Matthew found himself a nice easy kill onto Fly. Body blocks coming out from the illusions of Arbed. In fact, doing a great job of it as well. Uh, Ramses, he's going to be able to get a little bit closer. Pops the drums. Doesn't get the sprout. It's EG now looking to set up on the bot lane. Crit running forward. He does have Rolling Thunder and he does commit it. They really want this off lane slider kill. Frank will actually get a nice juke off to start and actually run straight past them. Swashbuckle will not be enough. Frank! Oh man. Just sidestepping his way to victory.
Yeah, and that does bite him enough time to rotate a few more heroes in. Are they gonna commit for this fight? No. You really just wanna either start a team fight or, or force a T1 down. Fly, gonna be a very easy pick off if they're allowed to have him alone, but Arteezy now with the ensnare onto Matthew, he will barely get away with his life intact. And Fly will also walk away with his own life intact. But we can't say the same for this T1 bot tower. Exorcism is going to be there from Leo style now. And EG, I, I doubt they even bother trying to defend this. It's it's the least no. valuable tower on the map, pretty much. Yeah, they've got good vision in their jungle right now anyway, so EG's not going to be losing out on too much. At the very least, they do have information as to where Thunder Predator would be. And they just get themselves some free time to farm up. Like, Abed's just going right down mid, no contestion. Everyone else is just kind of clumped up around a Roche Pit, and that is going to be going down quite fast. Without that exorcism around for the next fight, EG's not under any major threat. Oh, yeah, I guess not. Roshan is the play. With those mirror images, the Riptide spam, it's just so darn quick. Poor Roshan. I'm gonna go down at 15 minutes into this game, number one. Like speaking of, Arteezy by himself going to go after Matthew. Remnant doesn't latch onto the real Naga Siren. He doesn't even want the kill. He just wants the creeps. He wants to force Matthew out of the lane and just get back his bot lane. Our bet, smoke does get broken. MJZ will get caught out. Crew will take it on the Pango. In fact, they may have found more. Remnants forward. They really want MNZ on the Morphling. There's the chains latching. And MNZ, he just uses Waveform. Rolling Thunder's probably going to be able to lock him in place the whole time. And Ramses will be the one to pick up that kill. Arbit. Eh, could be in trouble. We'll be able to remnant it out in time. Silence just did not last long enough. Let's get a nice little chains off onto Frank on the way out. And Frank, gonna keep going. He wants Fly on the Snapfire. Fly, false, or rather, Fortune's End does land. Fly eventually does go down to the Crypt Swarm. Arbet, very low HP, but with the Aegis, he feels confident enough to keep moving forward. Gets the chains off. Swashbuckle, though, will not connect from Crit. And now, Frank, he comes back in onto the Pangolier. Silence is there. They get another. EG. Maybe you have to be a little bit careful about going for kills like that, because, you know, a couple kills being given away of Thunder Predator, and suddenly they could be back into this game. Look, be wanting to play aggressively now against Frank. Yeah, Frank snared up. Wrong Thunder wants to get from Crit. Just going to lock him down, and in case anybody else is coming, Crit has already cleared out the tree line. They see MJZ. They won't even bother trying. They'll just take the T2 tower, and, well, Matthew could be in a little bit of trouble, but he will Astral step away in time. And Leo Style had the silence out onto Arbed. But EG, they're finding everything they want on this map. There, there is absolutely zero urgency in their play right now. No. Because they don't need to. They, they just... It's either Thunder Predator reacts to them, or they just keep pushing down towers. Yeah, it's... Uh, Thunder Predator is just not ready to deal with EG at this moment. They don't have the farm on their Morphling. They, they do manage to finally finish up that Mant style. I don't think that's going to be enough. To mitigate this. Yeah, they're going to onto Crit. And then Z now going to start rushing forward as the Morphling. Tries to go for the Adaptive, but doesn't really get the kill. That was a quick pipe there from Ramses to nullify a lot of that magic damage. And they find nothing. EG, walk away scot-free. Yeah, Thunder Predator just not able to punish too well here. They might get punched themselves. They could. Clumsy net on crit. Won't really lock him in place. And now Arteezy jumps in. He has Song available if he needs to, but he doesn't really as Matthew ends up going down. This team fight looking oh. really bad for Thunder as well. They're only really left with the DP and Leo style does go down to Ramses and MNZ. Still trying to run away. Crit won't leave the man alone and Arbed. He'll run it forward as well. He does have chains available in just a second and there it is coming out. Does this Morphling survive? Maybe, with the Strength Morphing, it looks like he may have enough time and HP to get out of this. Though no, Crit's diving the tier 3, giving vision over to Arbit. They will claim the full team wipe. And it's just absolute domination from this Radiant side at the moment. Definitely, they do manage to get the split push going with Ramses as well. Doing a lot of damage to that top tier 3. 
And Thunder, without that extra system, they can't really fight into this too well. Leo style gonna TP back into the mid lane and goes for a silence. Arbet doesn't really have much mana, so he may not feel like he can take this team fight. That Aegis is gonna expire fairly soon as well, so he will have to be a little bit careful about that. But now Arteezy, he just runs in thanks to a cookie off fly. Won't risk too much, he does want to back off now, but he'll just commit the song. EG? Are we going back in? No. Fly throws a scatter blast. In fact, he does go for the cookie. Silence gonna be there. Meanwhile, MJZ getting taken down in the back to Arteezy on the Naga. With Arbed, he will get changed up chained up by MNZ. They could burst him down, though he should have a remnant available and does. Now the Rolling Ooh. Thunder again from Crit, just controlling everybody. MNZ, he's in a very, very tough position right now. Arteezy is surrounding with the mirror images. He will waveform forward, but can he get out of this? It looks like he may be able to walk out this time, but you're losing so much, and the GG wall play has been called anyway. Yeah, that was a quick first match. Really good showing from EG this time around. Thunder Predator, it felt like they weren't playing the way they usually do.